Now, I have one request before you leave, okay? This is personal. That last day when you leave, leave a little bit early, because what I'd like for you to do is when you walk out of Book the Hall, look to the right, walk down a little ways, look to the edge of the campus, which is along the expressway. Then go down to Market Street. That's Market Street. Now, when I was there in 19 whatever, uh, it was about a block, okay? So go down to Market Street, take a look, and then walk all the way down the Main Street. And when you're looking, look across from uh, Canal Ballpark and look at that property over there and see the building that hopefully will house the basketball program. But at that point, what I want you to do is do this. You need to pat, <laughs> pat yourself on the back, okay? Pat yourself on the back and acknowledge wh what you've done. You've done one heck of a job and you need to be proud of it. We've gone, it's been hectic the last few months, but you need to take a deep breath and acknowledge everything you've done. Dr. Perenza and his wife have brought the University of Akron from a local college to a true university town. They've promoted the university throughout the greater Akron community, nationally and internationally. Many university presidents take the helm of a university and focus on what has been in the past. Dr. Perenza took the helm looking to what the university could be in the future, strengthening all of the colleges. He recognized the important relationship between businesses and the greater Akron community as a partnership. He built on this to catch the energy of not only the university, but the greater community, local, national, and international. I would venture to guess if the founders were still alive, they would have a hard time believing that a president of this university would come to town 15 years ago, then a stranger to this town like I was when I first came here in 67, developed a strong administration, built 22 new buildings, made major additions to 18 existing facilities, and created green space over 34 acres. This is phenomenal indeed. I wonder how many of you know that in 1999, we didn't get one administrator from Purdue University, we got two. I had the good fortune to, and pleasure to work with Teresa on many occasions. I can attest through personal experience as to what a treasure she has been for this community.